guys, I'm Elizabeth Bench and I'm here today to teach you how to make any vegetable taste delicious. So as a board certified health coach, one of the things that I'm asked most often by my clients are, how do I learn to like vegetables? I don't like vegetables for whatever reason. I actually was working with a client yesterday and she said to me, Elizabeth, I don't like vegetables. I eat like a sixth grader and I just don't like the way they taste. So I, my first re response to her was, um, you know, I mean this with the most love, but it's time to stop eating like a sixth grader. It's time to eat like a grown up. So it's time to learn to like vegetables. But for a lot of people, that is a real problem. For whatever reason, they don't like the taste of vegetables. Maybe they've just never had them a lot. Um, so I have a tried and true way that I love to make and prepare vegetables for my family. Um, and everyone seems to really like them. No matter what the vegetable is, I know I can always go uh, to this method and everyone will love the way it tastes. And when I, when I, when I use this method and cook vegetables for other people, you know, maybe something that they're not familiar with, if it's a Brussels sprout or, you know, some other vegetable that they didn't think that they liked, when they have it this way, a lot of times people will say, oh my gosh, this tastes great. I could eat this on a daily basis. So this is my go-to favorite way to cook vegetables um, for myself and for my family. And like I said, it works with any vegetables. So I'm going to teach you guys how to very, very easily roast any vegetable today. Um, today I've got broccoli, that's what I'm using to show you guys for this demonstration, but you can really use any vegetable um, and roast it this way and it's super easy and you've probably got all of the ingredients that you need already in your pantry. Um, like I said, today I've got broccoli, I love to roast cauliflower this way, I love to roast sweet potatoes this way, um, any winter squashes and any even any summer squashes, so you know yellow squash or zucchini, um, you know onions, bell peppers, I love to roast onions, red bell peppers together, really anything you can roast it this way, kind of change out, Brussels sprouts I mentioned earlier, you can change out whatever vegetable that you're using and kind of follow the same method and I promise you it'll turn out great and you'll love the way it tastes. So the first thing I'm going to do, I've set my oven to 400 degrees, so it's already preheated for me and then I've chopped my broccoli into uh, pretty uniform pieces. So it doesn't really matter, I mean obviously you don't want them to be huge chunks, but it doesn't really matter how big they are, you just want to make sure that they're all kind of the same size and they don't have to be exact but just make sure they're they're fairly uniform and that way everything roasts evenly um, and some of the you know the broccoli doesn't get roasted um, like the smaller pieces will roast quicker than the bigger pieces and that goes for any vegetable for Brussels sprouts I usually like if they're smaller I'll half my brother my Brussels sprouts if they're a little bit larger size of a Brussels sprout I'll quarter them um, onions and bell peppers and things like that I'll cut them long ways slice them long ways um, into uniform pieces same thing with sweet potatoes just kind of try to cut to uh, cut it all into sort of a uniform size. So I'm going to put all of my broccoli that I've already prepped and cut and washed onto a big um, cookie sheet, roasting pan, whatever you've got. You want to use something with a rim around the edge so that you know any of the olive oil doesn't spill off and into your oven. But I just have a very inexpensive roasting pan that I've had um, since my husband and I got married 10 years ago. So um, yeah, so any roasting pan like that will work. So spread that out evenly on your roasting pan or your cookie sheet. And then I'm just going to add extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to add about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and just drizzle it over all of the broccoli or whatever vegetable that you're roasting. And then I'm just going to take some sea salt. Um, I like to keep my sea salt in a little... A jar like this or a little dish like this so I can grab it with my hand that's the way I prefer to cook but however you like to use it and I'm not even measuring it I'm just kind of lightly sprinkling some sea salt maybe a teaspoon or so and if you want to do some black pepper here you can do that as well and then I'm just going to take a wooden spoon and toss everything around on this baking sheet so that it's all covered with the olive oil and with the sea salt so as you start to play around with some of your favorite vegetables um, that you want to roast and you want to start playing around with other spices, you can do that as well. For instance, with cauliflower, I really love to add, uh, to add curry powder or garam masala or a spice like that. I like it kind of, a, you know, an Indian spice um, with my cauliflower. Sometimes I'll use cumin or some kind of spice like that if I'm doing onions and peppers. So really just, you know, you can start to play around with it, but here just this basic formula today, we're just using olive oil and sea salt. Okay, so we've tossed everything around on the baking sheet and everything's coated pretty evenly and spread out evenly on the baking sheet. And I'm just gonna toss it in the oven 
for about 15 minutes. We're going to stir it probably one time throughout the cooking time. Watch it. You want to make sure that, that nothing's getting too brown. You don't want to kill the nutrients in your vegetables, so you don't want them too brown. Um, but yeah, we're going to set the timer for about 15 minutes, and I'm going to stir it one time throughout the cooking time. Okay, I've just pulled my roasted broccoli out of the oven. It smells amazing, and it looks delicious. And um, I actually stirred it twice throughout cooking. I stirred it about once every five minutes. But once again, you can do any vegetable this way. It really will um, taste amazing. I, every vegetable that I've ever tried with roasting, it's my very favorite technique for eating cooked vegetables. Of course, I love my raw vegetables, just like every good health coach does. But sometimes cooked vegetables are in order. And roasted vegetables are always a hit at my house. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this tip. I hope that you'll give it a try and maybe try out um, one of those vegetables that you haven't tried yet, give it a try, roast it, use a little olive oil and sea salt, and cook it for about 15 minutes, stirring throughout, and see what you think. I bet that you will uh, learn that you like more vegetables than you think that you do. So if you enjoyed this video and to get more tips like this, please visit my website at www.elizabeth-finch.com, and I'll see you guys soon.